Hello? Hello, and welcome back on board the Hot Mess Express. We're happy to have you back. I haven't uploaded a video in three weeks, maybe a little bit longer than that. If you guys watched my last video, it was a home decor haul. It was all holiday themed. I was excited to get into Christmas baking, to do more holiday inspired videos. I was all for it. There was no lack of Christmas cheer. And then somebody very close to me who is special and dear in my heart forever passed away unexpectedly. Um, I hate referring to him as a coworker. He was a coworker, but I called him my work dad and he truly was like a father figure to me. It's really hard to film this without crying. I called him my work dad because he was honestly way more than a coworker to me. He truly was like my work dad. He always had my back. He was always there when I was having a rough day. We used to vent to each other. He was often my good morning and go out for lunch. Him and his wife used to buy me like birthday presents, so we were pretty close. The day that I heard that he passed away was honestly one of the worst days of my life, and I've just been emo ever since. I had to basically go to work every single day and continue on with my daily tasks, which was extremely emotionally taxing. I had to plan our corporate Christmas party. I ended up making a memorial video for him, which was super hard because I had to sit there and look at his cute little face for three whole days putting this thing together. So it's been a really difficult time for me. I'm just now starting to kind of get back into holiday mode because he was such a sweet man. I know that he wouldn't want anything else. He would want me to enjoy Christmas and he would want me to film videos. He was actually one of like the only two people at work who even know that I do YouTube and he was so supportive of it. He used to ask me to send him my video links and he would share them with his wife and she would watch my videos and they'd watch my recipe videos. He was just an amazing person and I almost feel like I gotta pull it together and use my channel as an emotional outlet because I know how much he was supportive of what I do so I'm gonna do just that and I'm just gonna think of him and sort of pull through this next month two months however long it takes me to sort of cope with his loss so on that note I've got about four or five videos that I had going leading up to all of this that I still want to upload and I'm gonna try to upload as much as I possibly can for the rest of December please just bear with me I know I shit the bed and I didn't upload as often as I said that I would, but life happens and life really happened in a shitty way for me this month. Today's video is a continuation of my home decor haul and I also did a plant-based foods haul. There's no produce involved in this part of the video. It's just plant-based or vegan alternatives to animal products that I always like having in my fridge and a few products that I've never tried before that I'm excited to try. I figured it would be a fun little addition and it would be a nice way to sort of get back into the swing of filming. So I hope you guys are okay with me just uh, sharing another home decor haul and a plant-based foods haul. And while I'm talking about this, I may as well address a question that I get in the comments all the time, especially on my food-related videos. No, I am not vegan. I think even if I was, I probably wouldn't label myself. I just don't see the need to use labels for everything, but I'm not. I just eat predominantly plant-based, non-animal or animal byproduct foods, but no, I would not consider myself a vegan. I try to cook as plant-based as possible at home, but if I'm out or let's say I'm at like a dinner party or something and there's something uh, dairy in my meal, I'm not gonna send it back or ask the hosts to cook vegan foods. And a lot of the time I won't bring my own food. I just eat vegan foods often. I think they're delicious. I like to take my favorite regular dishes and try to like veganize them or make them plant-based or dairy -free. Free. It's just fun for me and it just so happens that whenever I film what I eat in my day videos or recipe videos They're vegan, but I am not one so I don't want to mislead anybody. This isn't a vegan channel I'm not here to tell you how to live your life I'm not here to pressure you to eat a certain way or school you on anything I'm literally just sharing what I put in my mouth because you guys have asked for it and you seem to like that content from me I just wanted to clarify that for anybody that was wondering I've been eating this way for about a year and a half now, but there are occasions where I don't eat this way, which is why I can't call myself a vegan. And I have honey, so I'm pretty sure if you have honey, you can't call yourself a vegan. The point that I'm trying to drive home is that I'm not an activist and I'm not here to tell you how to live your life or shame you for the things that you eat. I'm just here to share the things that I like to eat and hope you find something that you like in my videos. I really have no purpose here other than to talk about food because I love food. 
So now that that's out of the way, let me know if you want me to do a video dedicated to my favorite dairy-free, plant-based alternatives to animal products. I'm super picky when it comes to alternatives, so is Chris, so I've tried pretty much everything, and I was a major dairy lover in the past, and I have found some bomb-ass alternatives. That about wraps up everything that I wanted to say for the intro of this video. Filming again has been one of the only things that has cheered me up, so it's nice that I have an outlet where I can just shut off mentally, not think about sad stuff, and do what I love. Thank you guys, as always, for being patient with me while I've been a little bit MIA. For those of you who follow me on Twitter or Snapchat, you would have probably had an idea that I was going through something because I was subtly posting things here and there. I didn't want to outright talk about it because I wasn't ready to like accept it at the time but if you're ever wondering where the fuck I'm at or where I disappeared to I would encourage you to maybe check out my socials and see if everything's good in the hood or not yeah thank you for hanging with me let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see from me like I said I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can for the rest of the month because I have been working on a few videos and uh, enjoy this haul. I'm gonna start out with what I got from TJ Maxx. First, we've got these cute little decorations. They're tiny Christmas trees with wooden blocks underneath as a stand and it says believe. This one's kind of got a little lean to them. I have to straighten them out, but we initially saw these in Canada at HomeSense and we never ended up picking them up. And then when we saw them again at TJ Maxx, Chris just thought it was fate and here they are. We're probably gonna place them on the mantle in front of the TV. I'll insert a clip of what they look like once I've taken them out of the box, but I thought they were so cute. Oh, and I had somebody tell me in my last video that I should have included prices, so this one was $12.99. Next, I got myself this little flask. I have no idea why I want a flask. I don't even drink hard alcohol, but I just really wanted one. I had to get this marble one. I'm obsessed with pretty much anything marble, just like every other girl in the world right now. This was $9.99. I don't even know if I'll ever use this or what I would put into it. I've just always wanted a flask. I feel like badasses always have flasks in Western movies or Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Next, I have a little dish that I got for Louis. This is gonna be his new water bowl. And what do you know, it's marble. This was, I think, oh, there it is, $2.99. I like it because it's a bit more narrow than his current water bowl and uh, he'll be able to reach it a lot better because he absolutely hates his bottle. He never uses his bottle. I really need to train him to use his bottle, but he's a little print, so whatever he wants, he gets. And he didn't want this, but he got it. Remember I told you that Chris had been looking for more snow globes? Well, we found a new one and this one's so cute. It's Santa with a Christmas tree and it's inside of a sack. How cute is this? This is probably one of the cutest globes I've ever seen in my life. I know I said that about the last one, but look how cute. Do the honors again. I have been searching everywhere. for a white tree skirt that's fluffy, and I found this at TJ Maxx for $39.99. This wasn't exactly the type of fluff I was looking for. I kind of wanted this level of fluff, and I was gonna make my own and just get a bunch of these from Ikea and like sew them together, but I think this is close enough. Kind of looks like hair when it gets wet on a dog, if that makes sense. I think it's gonna look great, and I'll insert a clip once I set it up. Here is the tree skirt in action. As you can see, Louis has a tunnel that brings him over to the skirt, and he decided to uh, mark it, which is very rare for him. He doesn't usually pee anywhere but his potty. So, threw it in the wash, and then uh, air dried it, and I brushed it out, and I actually made it look more fluffy than it was before, so pretty happy about that. I know what you did, Luban. I know what you did. Look at your guilty little face. It's okay, Luban. You can do whatever you want. You're my little prince. Oh yeah, and this guy was $14.99. Last 
but certainly not least, I got Louis a little Christmas tree that he can crawl inside of and hang out and have a snooze. Currently he has a white igloo that we always keep in the living room. I'm gonna replace that with this cute little tree. I think this is meant for cats or dogs. How cute is this? It was $19.99 and I'm gonna move the other igloo into this room. Yeah, he's got his own little tree. So fucking cute. We also went to Target and got a couple things, one of which being these cute little Jack Skellington slippers. These are way too small for me, but I'm gonna stretch the shit out of them and make them work. Louis is also terrified of these because of the little grippy anti-slip rubber things on the bottom. It makes the funkiest noise on the hardwood and he's just not, he's not about it. I also picked up this beautiful oversized sweater, which looks like this. I believe this was $24.99. It's super loose. It's um very soft, very comfortable. And let's see what material it is. 62% nylon, 38% acrylic. Made from 100% recycled plastic. Interesting. Anyway, I absolutely love it. This is going to be my new go-to oversized sweater with some leggings and boots. Going to wear this to work tomorrow morning. I'm very excited. Uh, Chris and I also got some ugly Christmas sweaters. This one is mine. Clearly shows my age. Yes, I am a 16-year-old boy internally. <laughs> Believe it or not, we wear these types of sweaters to our Christmas dinners every year. Last year we had a Yuna sweater, so we were both inside of one giant sweater and we were connected at the hip all night. Going to the washroom was a little bit interesting. I gotta find Chris's sweater to show you because this is pretty cute too. This is Chris's sweater. And we got them online. I'll put the website somewhere on the screen. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Yep, we sure know how to spread Christmas cheer. We got this super cute poinsettia centerpiece from Costco. This side has yet to bloom. Ignore my struggling plant in the background. I do not have a green thumb. I don't know how this thing is still alive. Couldn't find the type of centerpiece I was looking for. I just wasn't in the mood to create my own. So Chris and I picked this up. It's super pretty. I think it's gonna be even prettier once it blooms on this side. And it was $19.99. My beautiful ass wreath just thought she'd check in and say what up. I think Chris put it a little bit too high and the top top is slightly squished, so we might move it down just a smidge. Isn't she lovely? I kind of want to keep her up for 2018, like for the whole year. Weird? Okay. Oh hey, it's me again. I thought I would uh, intro this portion of the video by saying I'm not sharing any produce, so this isn't like my typical grocery trip. I was on a mission to get the specific items that I need to have in my fridge, so don't think that this is all that I eat. And I already gave you the spiel on whether or not I'm vegan in my intro, so I don't need to cover that again. Okay, I think I'm done. Enjoy. I have so much shit that I wanna go over. I'm gonna go through each product. I'm gonna try not to spend too much time talking about each one, cause I'll be here until tomorrow. I love talking about food. I've got a couple different yogurts that I picked up. I've got the So Delicious Unsweetened Vanilla Coconut Milk Yogurt. I've had this one before. I also really like the Silk one. This one I found at Fred Meyer the other night. It's a creamy, dairy-free cashew gurt, unsweetened plain. It's organic. I haven't tried it yet. I have high hopes because I love cashews. So to see a cashew yogurt, they're excited. Every time I see a yogurt with uh, bacterial cultures, I know that it's gonna taste very dairy yogurty, which is perfect because one of the hardest things for me to do was cut out Greek yogurt in the morning. I absolutely loved having it with berries. And now I just have non-dairy yogurt. This one here is by Kite Hill. It's an almond milk yogurt. It's plain and unsweetened. I had it for breakfast the last few days and it's absolutely delicious. I got some basil vegan margarine. I don't really eat a lot of margarine to be honest. I got this specifically for grilled cheese sandwiches. And while I'm talking about grilled cheese sandwiches, I might as well show you the greatest bread that I have ever purchased for grilled cheese sandwiches. I got it from Costco. It's the Silver Hills Organic Sprouted Power Soft Wheat sliced bread. It's so tasty. Oh my god, it's so soft. I sometimes just have it toasted with a little bit of margarine in the morning. It's so delicious and it's nice and chewy. So when you make grilled cheese sandwiches, oh my god, it's just the best. I highly recommend it. You can get it from Costco in like a two pack. Speaking of grilled cheese, I got some creamy original chow slices. I really like the tomato cayenne one, I think it is. They were sold out. And I also like the earth cheddar slices. Those ones are delicious, but I ran out. And I also like the follow your heart, I think they're called cheddar slices, which are very similar to the earth balance ones. Anyway, amazing cheeses for uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. 
and grilled cheese sandwiches, again, were very hard to give up, especially when you're feeling sick or you're feeling emo and you just want like a bowl of soup with a grilled cheese sandwich, you know? Now you can do that. Miyoko's Creamery is one of my favorite dairy-free brands. They pretty much always knock it out of the park with everything they make, especially their cream cheese. This flavor here is double cream chive. I've also had the sun-dried tomato one, which is quite nice. They are very good at what they do. This is what the cream cheese looks like. It is absolutely delicious. It's cultured, it tastes very close to the real thing, and uh, I feel good about it knowing that it's basically made of nuts. I would highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. I got some of their fresh vegan mozz. I think I'm gonna make um, eggplant parm with this. It's very creamy, it's very soft. Uh, like I said, they're really good at what they do. Picked up some of the Melt Organic Buttery Sticks for my baking. If it was up to me, I would get the Miyoko's Creamery Cultured Butter. It's fucking unreal. It tastes just like real butter, but every single supply store that I've gone to is sold out. I think somebody cleaned them out recently for their holiday baking. I don't know if it was a cafe or a restaurant or something. It's on back order, so Chris picked these up. They come in four Four sticks and they have this cute little note inside that says faith it makes all good things possible love makes them easy how sweet you got four sticks in here I used half a stick the other day for my holiday baking and it was just fabulous one of you uh, recommended that I pick up the vegan cream cheese from Trader Joe's so I got two of them I'm probably gonna make some spinach dip with these and uh, bring them to a holiday potluck that I'm attending. I haven't ever tried this. I usually get the tofuti one, which to be honest, tastes like ass in my opinion. I have to add so many different flavors to that one to make it taste non-chemical-ish, if you know what I'm saying. So I got high hopes for this. Let me know if you guys have tried this in the comments. I'm looking forward to it. I got some of the tofurkey deli slices. This one is oven roasted. This one's Italian style. I think it's got like herbs. In it. I've only ever had the oven roasted one and it is unreal in sandwiches. Even Chris, who was a total like deli meat dude, thinks these are delicious and I make him sandwiches for work using these. You'll probably see one of my sandwiches in a future what I eat in a day video. This here is new to me. I've never tried it. It's the Upton's jackfruit in barbecue sauce. It's supposed to mimic chicken meat. It's shredded the same way. Jackfruit is a really good meat alternative and you can spice it and season it and it pretty much takes on on any flavor that you add to it. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I don't really like barbecue. Probably gonna make this for Chris on a pizza. There's like a Thai curry basil one that I saw that looks really nice. I might put that over some jasmine rice. Got my Beyond Meat beefy crumbles. I'm pretty sure I've cooked with these in a previous food video. I feel like I have, I don't remember, but very high in protein, delicious, low carb, and uh, really good for tacos, as you can see on the front. This is their Beast Burger, 23 grams of protein. We had these last night, we got two of these, and Chris said that this was the greatest non-meat plant-based burger patty that he's ever had. And we've gone through a lot. If you're a meat eater and you're trying to switch over to more plant-based eating, I highly recommend this. The ultimate test is gonna be uh, making Chris's dad one of these and not telling him that it's plant-based and seeing his reaction. So I'll keep you guys posted on that too. Got some organic tofu. I try not to eat a ton of uh, soy products and tofu, but once in a while it comes in handy. Those two Beyond Meat products, by the way, are soy-free, so they're all pea protein. Got some uh, vegan white chocolate chips. This is by the brand Vegan Sweets. They taste pretty much exactly like regular chocolate chips. I'm gonna make some kind of truffles with them. You'll probably see those in a future video. I've never tried this before. Found it at Target. It's called the Neat Egg, natural vegan egg substitute. It's pretty much just chickpeas and chia seeds, I believe, ground really fine. And apparently there's 18 eggs in this one little bag. When a recipe calls for eggs, I usually make my own little flax egg, but I'm interested to see how this works. Keep you posted. Yesterday, Chris picked up this just garlic mayo. It was absolutely delicious, but I'm curious, is this by Hampton Creek or not? Nah? Because this is just ranch. I used to get just mayo from Target a little while ago, but they had a recall and then they completely got rid of the just ranch, just mayo, just whatever by Hampton Creek. And we found this one, but it doesn't say Hampton Creek on it. So I'm wondering, are they Hampton Creek? You know, did they maybe rebrand because of the recall because there was controversy around them? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys know the scoop. Either way, everything from Hampton Creek that I've tried is delicious and uh, it would make sense if this is Hampton Creek and they just repackaged because it's delicious. 
I got two of these Califia Farms Holiday Nog Almond Milks. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had any plant-based almond milks that taste like the real thing, unfortunately. Speaking of Califia Farms, I've been addicted to this unsweetened pure black cold brew coffee. I got this from Target. Same with the eggnog. I haven't seen the eggnog or this cold brew in Canada, and I like to have it with this silk almond creamer. This is in the flavor caramel. They also have a hazelnut one. It is so tasty. I tried to just add a tablespoon or two to this cold brew and it's, I'd say, like honestly in my opinion, I like it better than my Nespresso that I have in the morning. It's just a little bit more subtle and Chris told me, he informed me that cold brew is apparently better for you than regular coffee. Did you make that up or is that an actual fact? It's less acidic. It's less acidic. We're trying to keep our bodies alkaline over here, you know? I don't even know if that's true. I should probably take that out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lastly, I got this unsweetened uh, Ripple dairy-free milk. This on its own tastes like actual ass. It comes in a bunch of different flavors I think. We usually just get the unsweetened one and I really only use it for protein shakes to give me a little bit more protein and I've shown you guys the protein that I use or that we use and we like. It's also plant-based. I haven't had dairy like whey protein in how long? Three years. It just, it's so much better. I used to have really bad tummy aches whenever I'd have whey protein and I never knew what it was and then I switched to plant-based protein and I haven't had those issues since. Anyway, this is good. I wouldn't recommend drinking it on its own. I haven't tried the flavored ones, but it's also a little bit pricey. So that's why I like to get it from the States. I think it's like $3.99, but in Canada, a bottle this big is eight bucks, which is a total ripoff. We just get shafted in Canada. You guys are so lucky in the States. Hi, hello, yes, it is me again. I just felt like I needed to end this video by saying bye. It feels kind of weird to just end the haul and not say goodbye to you. It feels like the polite thing to do. And um, I just wanted to thank you again for your patience and for watching this video and for staying subscribed or maybe subscribing if you're new to this channel. Hello, I promise I'm not this much of an emotional wreck in my other videos. I'm actually quite monotone in my other videos and I don't show emotion at all. So this is probably the first and last time you will see me emotional like this. I don't know if I've been emotional on my channel before, maybe like one time previously. I'm talking really fast, I'm out of breath and I'm thirsty. I'm parched. So I'm gonna go now and finish editing this video as well as my others and I'll see you in my next one. I don't wanna go. Okay, love you, bye.